Hello, welcome to the Geotechnical Engineering Part 1 Index Properties, Relationship and Test Here we will be discussing about Soil Formation, Type of Soil Regional Soil Deposit in India Phase Diagram Basic Terms and Definitions Let us understand what is soil and how it is formed Soil generally is a upper layer of earth crust which is formed by weathering of rocks due to mechanical and disintegration or chemical decomposition. So here rock surface get exo exposed to atmosphere for an appreciable time. It disintegrates, decomposes into small particles. Thus soil is formed. Now this geological cycle has a continuous movement of rocks and its particles. Igneous rocks due to the weathering action it come to the surface then it is their erosion and transportation occurs some of them will be deposited some of them will be buried and this formation to sedimentary rocks and then some of them will be deformed and convert into metamorphic rocks due to metamorphism some of them melts again it forms a magma give rise to the surface forms the igneous rocks so this is a continuous cycle years and years of process for the formation of soil and its particles now what is weathering weathering is generally a breakdown or generally a process which is physical chemical or biological means physical means water wind ice or gravity Chemical means due to water, carbon dioxide or even sulfur coming from the acid rain. If you consider biological, which may be in the roots, animals or insects, by human, some of the activities are done. These all are types of weathering for the formation of soil. Types of soil. If you are considering soil which is carried by carried and deposited by water, we say it as a alluvial soil. If soil particles carry by flowing water and deposit in lake, we say it as a lacustrine soil. Flowing water carry soil to the ocean or sea, we say it as a marine soil. If soil deposited by wind, we say it as a rolling soil. If glaciers carry with them soil, we say it is a glacial soil. If soil is transported and deposited by gravity, we say it is a coalluvial soil. If a brown organic earth of top soil consists of partially or decomposed vegetable matter we say it as a humus loam is a considered to be sand clay and silt mixture here few of the type of soil are clay soil sandy soil silty soil pitty soil chalky soil loamy soil if you consider this map of india here you can see major deposits of desert soil are seen in the Rajasthan. Some of the soil, marine soil deposit is seen in the Gujarat and some of the South Indian states like Kerala. Some of the black cotton soil is seen in the some of the region of Maharashtra. Some of the boulders 
are seen in the north indian states like jammu and kashmir so this is a map showing the regional soil deposits phases of soil generally if solids water and air are present we say it has a three phase generally if you consider any soil this three phase will be available if water air or are the some of the particles which may be varying in different soil if you are considering solids and water or solids and air they are two phase in the two phase solids and water as fully saturated soil and if solids and air are present we say it as a dry soil solid water and air are present we say it as a partially saturated soil now if you consider three phase diagram of the soil we consider volume of air volume of water volume of solid similar way uh, if you consider weight weight of water and weight of solids are being considered weight of air is zero similarly in the two phase diagram it consists of solid and air volume of air plus volume of solid similarly if you consider weight weight of solids are taken weight of air is zero similarly two phase diagram for solid and water volume of water plus volume of solid is considered weight of water and weight of solids are considered some of the fundamental definitions here we'll be talking about water content or moisture content the ratio of mass of water to the mass of solids will be gives you the water content or moisture content bulk unit weight total weight of soil mass per unit of total volume which we will be measuring as kilonewton per meter cube if you consider dry similar weight of solid mass per unit volume if you consider saturated you will be getting weight of saturated soil per unit of total volume if you consider submerged ratio of submerged weight of soil solids to the total volume of soil mass other term is saturated unit weight minus unit weight of water will gives you the submerged unit weight of any particle and now unit weight of water is generally taken as 10 kN per meter cube specific gravity the ratio of weight of given volume of soil solids to the weight of equal volume of distilled water so in the both case volume should be equal whether it is soil solids or distilled water will gives you the specific gravity void ratio we all know the total volume of soil solids that is volume of void plus volume of solid now what is volume of void volume of void is the volume of air plus volume of water now what is volume of air what uh, volume of ratio of volume of void to the volume of solid will gives you the void ratio porosity ratio of volume of void to the total volume gives you the porosity degree of saturation ratio of volume of water to the volume of void similarly if it is fully saturated volume of void will be volume of water so degree of saturation will be 1 in fully dry state volume of water will be zero therefore degree of saturation will be zero 
एयर कंटेंट रेशियो ऑफ वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर टू द वॉल्यूम ऑफ वॉइड ऑल्सो वन माइनस डिग्री ऑफ सैचुरेशन विल गिवज यू द एयर कंटेंट एयर कंटेंट इज एक्सप्रेस इन द परसेंटेज वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर डिवाइड बाई टोटल वॉल्यूम विल गिवज यू द एयर कंटेंट इन परसेंटेज थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग थैंक यू ऑल